Hey guys, it's Stephen and Phil here, back on Footy.com with yet another kit review for the 2019-20 season. Uh, and this is the third Liverpool shirt uh, that's featured the European champions. Uh, I'll back with the away kit from New Balance. We've done the goalkeeper kit and the home kit, which both went down pretty well uh, under our eyes. Uh, and this is the away kit, which has been announced and is available. I think it's about now as you're watching this, most likely. Um... And it's an interesting take, but don't forget if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we're reviewing loads and we've got the Real Madrid shirt to come tomorrow as well on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. But Phil, over to our Liverpool fan. <laughs> Just got to get out there in the interest of fairness. Um, yep. What do you make of this shirt, Phil? Yeah, I think trying to take an unbiased view, of course. <laughs> it is, um, I think there are some good things about the shirt. It's probably missed um, the mark in terms of the final execution, I would say. But... I do like the direction that New Balance have gone. I think it makes a lot of sense after the the home, which we which we talked about, and that was quite quite retro looking, and obviously quite similar to the the eighties kind of design. This yeah. is um, a much newer design, albeit very similar to Bournemouth's kit last year. The yeah, yeah. kit, and a lot Sounds of people right now. Yeah, a lot of people point to that. There's obviously some similarities, but I do like in general the approach. Um, however, I will start with a negative, and that is that unfortunately New Balance. Um, have persisted with their with their template this year. And Just to interrupt you briefly, yep. now as you've seen some of the photos on screen now, they're all really washed out. They've put mm. the exposure loads yeah, of yeah. where you can't quite see the fact that there is actually that kind of template. <clears throat> I've put a picture on screen right now. As you can see, you can see that little kind of net thing there and the, the, the kind of the separated sections. Mm. When you look at the other pictures, which one will be on screen right now as well, is you literally... Just can't see that. You can't mm. actually see, so it's washed out. So I think they've known that that maybe you've been popular. Well, it's funny, isn't it? Because the shirt... It annoys me, to be honest. It does. I mean, I don't know if it's intentional, but if it isn't, it's they're not particularly well edited. I mean, the shirt looks better, I think, when it... When, it, um, when it's bleached out. Does, does look overexposed. Yeah. So there is that. And I think, yeah, it, it's just one of those examples where, you know, on the home kit, it made yeah. a lot of sense to have that bit because, of course, the Yeah, because it's referencing the that, kit, yeah. yeah, so I, I don't really see why you need that for this kit. The other, the other negative I'm going to point out early doors is I don't think there's any any need for the Bob Paisley signature not because you know no slight on Bob Paisley at all but for a kit that has as far as I know no reference to, reference it, yeah, to it when, it, when, you know, when he was a manager it just feels a bit of a token gesture for just me. to get some goodwill and like yeah. that stuff yeah, but you were saying about the Bournemouth kit it's very yeah. similar to last year's Bournemouth away kit is that right? yeah and to be honest what I would say about that similarity is that I did actually quite like Bournemouth's kit um, I don't think it's as good as that one because I think Umbro did a better job yeah they have done things like the thing. cuffs obviously the top section doesn't doesn't get in the way. Oh, so bit, they're hiding anything either in that picture. <laughs> I indeed, yeah. And I mean, the sponsor wasn't particularly good in the Bournemouth kit. But yeah, th this obviously has a similarity. Um, a lot of fans quite rightly pointing out that there is a bit of blue, but to be honest, I think that's quite a... Shorts are blue as well. The shorts are blue. And so, you know, I do think that this is a good way of... If you're going to use blue or, you know, use a rival colour, so to speak, at the end of the day, the, the shade of blue is very, very dark. You know, it's almost almost black in some pictures so I, I don't see that as an issue at all but then again you know I understand some fans are kind of a bit sceptical apparently um, it's the um, it's the collar construction that is inspired by the 1977 that's Euro interesting win. yeah like, and I, what I would say with, with um, when brands try to match up and use this kind of you know Justification. Sometimes I don't think you know. Maybe mention it, but I, I don't think you need, just just say you've gone for the color because you wanted to do it. I think. Um, Which, yeah. Back to the kit in general. We're seeing yep. this template quite a lot. We've, uh, we are. Yeah. We've seen it. Yeah. On, we've got a Puma shirt. Not Puma. Sorry, Porto shirt mm -hmm. coming up on probably Monday. We're yep. as well. And that's got a similar template as well. Yep. Obviously the Liverpool home kit as well. Any other teams that have used it that you think of? Uh, Celtic had. Yeah. It's that. just. Um, so yeah. When we first saw the first Liverpool kit, we thought it was just. For that, didn't we? It was for that shirt. It meant for, mm. We didn't realise it was going to be across all the others. Yeah. Which has been very interesting. Yeah, and I think the thing is with it that a lot of brands obviously do utilise base styles or templates. Um, and that's that in itself isn't a problem. But I think the issue with the New Balance one is it's so distinctive. Unlike, you know, say an Adidas or a Nike template. I mean, they're typically quite boring all the time, but actually they are quite versatile, whereas the New Balance one does, does unfortunately stand out a lot. <laughs> and also, apparently, according to the press release spiel, this kit is inspired by the iconic oh, yeah. street signs around Anfield, which yes. is... It, it seems a stretch uh, to me. Unfortunately, a, I think that's... There's yeah. a street sign down there. That make, it, it, yeah. I, <laughs> really? I mean... That's, uh, it looks like they're finding anything there. Uh, yeah. But, you know, it's, yeah, it's a I mean, thing, apparently. Th I think that's another example of just just be confident enough in your design. I think, actually, if, if New Balance had just said, you know, they've just, I, I guess, you know, use the design across the full bit of the shirt, so not use their template, 
made it maybe a bit yeah. more crazy as well. I think, you know, they, they had a bit of license because the the home kit was quite well made. I think it was quite well designed. It feels like they sort of, they were they were on the right track, but they sort of fell off a bit, I would say. Um, but you know what? I mean, we, we should mention some of the other small positives. And that is the fact that the colours in terms of the sponsor and yeah. the crest like all, all incorporated well. And that's good. Um, even the cuff detail, which I've not been the biggest fan of, but it's an interesting take with the kind of two colour um, thing. And it reminded me a lot, actually, of England's England shirt in 1988, which is mm-hmm. not a famous England shirt by any means. But if you go and look at pictures of that, yeah. you'll notice the cuffs, which are very similar to this shirt. So, um, yeah, you know, I think I, I do I do like this more than I thought I would based on the, on the leaks, but it's still... Not going to be a classic. See, I, I keep think. finding myself swayed by once again these press pitches that, that mm. aren't in any way at all. Yeah, understandable. Yeah, they're just they're not they're not what the shirt looks like. Uh, it's this one on screen now, which what what the, like uh, it looks like there. And mm. It's a very different vibe, isn't it? But it is. You make your own mind. I guess it depends if you like that kind of style mm. or not. Right, we've got the um, the basically list of the kit rankings so far this season. Basically, every single kit gets a score in our big 2019-20 kit rankings list. And as you can see there, mm. uh, some decent Premier League representation. But West Ham with a nice this shirt so far uh, that's how white away shirts are done mm, isn't it absolutely is, beautiful absolutely and if you're watching Umbro give us a free shirt go on go send it over to us <laughs> uh, so they're leading the way then we've got Southampton actually propping up the table down at the very bottom uh, Liverpool's other kits the goalkeeper kit a strong 85 the home oh. kit a strong 81 I don't think it's as nice as either of those two kits is personally Agreed. but Phil gets the final say on this um, where, what do you reckon Phil look at those yeah, kits there is it I as think, good as is it I think I saw, looking on. at that it's, it's very much in it's from United for me. Uh, well, I, I would, yeah, I would say that. No, that's pretty fair. I would put it in the seventies, but the low seventies, I think. Yeah. Looking at some of the the competition, if you like, um, I think you know, if it weren't for the kind of New Balance template, this is definitely um, doing doing quite well. But I would probably say, based on that, um, and there's some good ideas, but I'm going to put it at seventy two. So okay. it's right there with Atletico. Um, you know, it doesn't reach the heights of the home kit, and I think it's a good thing actually that. Uh, you've you've got Liverpool got a good home kit and a goalkeeper kit. So yeah, um, yeah this one isn't as good as that, but it's it's got something about it. Interesting to see what the third kit brings up when mm. eventually he's released some probably September maybe or something like that. Probably think, yeah, hopefully around so. that time usually. But anyway, guys, that is just our opinion on the uh, Liverpool away kit, which is available now. Don't forget you can head over to footy.com for the best deals on Liverpool shirts and gear and all that kind of stuff. That's what we do over there. We basically compare all the prices and low, impartial, all that kind of stuff. And we make great content. Hopefully you think the same <laughs> as we do anyway. Make sure you subscribe if you need to footy.com. Hit that like button. Let us know what you make of this shirt in the comments below. Go check out the rest of the playlist from all the other uh, shirts I've reviewed so far this season. Anyway, see you in a bit. <laughs>